What is going on everybody? Welcome to your 30 second Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to pass arrays into methods. Now I taught you guys how to make basic methods and I also taught you guys how to use simple variables and methods, but arrays can be a little tricky. So that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to do this time. So before we start uh, passing arrays into methods, we actually need an array. So let's go ahead and make one again called Bucky and uh, just make your array initializer and put um, three, four, five, six, seven, might as well. And that's that for now. So now that we have an array, we actually need to build a method to do something to this. So here's your main method right now. So go outside your main method and again, make sure you're inside your class by outside your main method and go ahead and type public static void and then name your method I'm just gonna name my change because I'm gonna want to change my array now what you need here is the type and your local um like uh, how we built a variable last time you want to do the same thing but instead of having just a variable name you want to put those square brackets over it and that says that alright we're gonna be building a method here and it's going to take a parameter of one array. So make sure you name a variable, which is actually an array, and add those square brackets. And that's how you tell that you're going to be putting an array in here. Next, go ahead and let's add something so we can put in our method that we just built. So in this method, what do we want to do to change our array? Let's just say we want to take all the values in our array and add five to them just for add something real simple so I can show you guys so just add a basic for loop to loop through but in counter let me make sure I spell it right set it equal to zero because that's the first index counter is less than X length and remember that's a built-in um, thing that Java knows and then just add one and let's just put X counter and plus equal five and what this does right here is it takes um, all the indexes in the array and adds five to each value of them so again you should know what this does already uh, don't forget to put it in a separate method aside from your main one so now that we got a separate method built and again the most important thing probably in this tutorial is in this parameter in this method make sure to have an array instead of just a regular variable so now back in our main method what we want to do is just call um, the method so how you do this is put the method name and in your parentheses go ahead and write the array name so mine is Bucky and again since um, Java already knows how long it is you don't have to put how many elements like four or five all you have to put is the name of the array since this is Bucky with this many elements just put Bucky and it knows automatically how many elements is supposed to pass into your array so now um, our array is changed so we made an array we changed it so now we just got to print it out on the screen so we can see it so let's use that um, enhanced for loop that we talked about in the last tutorial. And once I get my parentheses, int y, um, again, this is called Bucky. And let's just put system out print line. And we'll print y. So that should work, I believe. So let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, the original array was 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And our new array is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it added 5 to the array, which we wanted to do. So let me show you guys one last time what this does. We made an array like we did a million times called Bucky 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We next said, all right, take that array Bucky and pass it into the method change. Where it says, all right, where's the method change? Oh, it's down here. So I took that array. Now what am I supposed to do to it? Oh, take each of the values and add five to them. All right, I did that. Now let's come back here. All right, what do you want me to do next? Well, 
just print it all out on the screen and we know how to do that from last time so make an array change it print it out on the screen and again um, the syntax is a little different than making a regular method so pay attention especially that you don't need a number right here and also that you need to define your array right here so aside from that it's pretty simple so um pay attention to that play around with it and get good at it and then once you're good you can move on to my next tutorial so thank you guys for watching uh, i hope you learn at least some of this um don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time